Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that's going to um, your current role as assistant producer. So you said you work on with the Nation with Joe Nelson, also, also the Blue Show with Kerry Matthews. How long have yeah. you been at each position? How long have you been? How long have you been at um, People's Radio Two now? So I started. So yeah, I started at something else, um, mm. and we produce shows for like Radio Two, Six Music, Radio One. So I started in January. Mm. So it wasn't actually that long ago. So I started in January, and then we got locked down in March. So I was only really in the studio for like two months. Um, so yeah, I started both shows. Yeah, January, and then oh, wow. from March onwards, I sort of did everything from home. Mm. But yeah, it was wow. good I had the experience for those two months and met Keris Matthews and Trevor yeah. Nelson as well. So. Amazing. How are, how are they to work with? Must be an amazing experience to work with them. They're so, like, lovely. They're so down to earth. Like, I can call Trevor up and <laughs> we'll sit and have a conversation for ages. And he, the thing is, like... Every phone call I have with him, I learn something new. Like he'll mm. talk about his experience in radio, how he's got where he is now. Because we, for the Radio Academy, we um, did Black History Month inspirations. And a lot of people mentioned that Trevor Nelson was their inspiration growing up. Because back in the 90s, you didn't have that many black men that were radio presenters. So mm. for young black people to see someone, a presenter, who is like, he's got so successful from MTV to One Extra to Radio 2, to see someone do that sort of inspires a lot of people. And I think he's so like, he's so humble. Like mm. he knows he's good, yeah. but he's just like so chill about it. Like he's, he, yeah, he's just great. He is great. I've been such a huge fan of his for, for the longest time now. And <laughs> I think I, obviously we all grew up listening to his work as well. He was so, he was, he was yeah. amazing still to like he's so good. And, and, and like he knows he's good, but hearing that he's so humble as well now makes him even nicer because yeah. I'm sure we've all met people who have been in such amazing positions, but they've turned out to be something else. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to mention names, but no. um, <laughs> but I know that uh, like they get to, get, now you get the chance to work with him. You can, like you can call, you can call him any time now and just yeah. talk to him. Oh, must, cool. be such, must be such a surreal feeling for you as well at the same time. It's mad because at SRA conference last year in April, I interviewed him and Helen Thomas, who's head mm. of Radio 2. And if you had said to me then, I'd be working with Trevor Nelson and you'd have his phone number and you could yes. call him any time, <laughs> I would have literally laughed in your face. Because <laughs> um, like, yeah, I interviewed them um, and we did like a session at SRA Con and literally less than a year later, I'm working on his show. That's amazing. <laughs> that is, that really is insane. I mean, what are the kind of roles, you mentioned this briefly earlier, um, mm. what, are the, what are the kind of roles involved in being an assist assistant producer? Um, so it can vary. Um, with me, I work on a specialist music show. So um, I prepare the script for both Keris and Trevor. Um, we edit any features that we have because he has five seconds to name. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think what else now. It's just basically as an assistant producer, you've got to be really organised. You've got to be on it to support the producer. Mm -hmm. So in like a live studio setting, um, Claire, the producer, well, she was the producer at the time, but it's Gaynor now for Trevor Nelson. Mm -hmm. She'll be like, can you do this? Can you quickly grab this song? Like it's, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes that are not mm -hmm. a lot of people realise when obviously yeah. you listen to the presenter. So yeah, it's being organised, preparing everything, scripting, just making sure that when Trevor or Keris come in, they feel comfortable and they yeah. feel like they can go on air with no problems and you need to ensure that they're put at ease. Mm. So they literally come in, he's got his headphones ready, levels are okay, just he comes in and we need to make sure he's comfortable and comfortable to be on air. 